Hi, this is your girl, Rika Thamperson. and yes, I'm back in the building. Today, I'll just be doing a general reading. Could be love, could be anything. I just want to see what's going on with my collective for today. Hey, y'all babies, how y'all doing? Gotta let you know I got my crystals all on on deck. So, I will be using the Morning Witch Tarot deck, and I will be using the Work Your Light Tarot deck. I've already uh, cleansed the energy out. Of course, you see your, your, your rose quartz, so it might be some love coming out. Sorry. And then you got your tiger's eyes, so some protection could be going on. But I'm going to get started. Spirit angels, ancestors, and guys, I couldn't even humble serve it. What is this about today, Spirit? What do we have? Okay. There's new opportunities that is coming somebody's way. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Sorry about that. You got the Page of Pentacles. You got the Seven of Wands there. So, some new opportunity that somebody is showing some type of resistance to. Somebody is not... With the way that these cards are set up, there's a new opportunity that somebody wants to offer, but they're showing some type of resistance. I don't know why. Uh, We're going to see what's going on with this situation because if it's a new opportunity that's coming some matter way... Uh, with this page energy, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Seven of Wands energy, Leo, Sage. Okay. Two, uh huh. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely an Earth sign um, reading. So this could be for Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be connected with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So that's what this reading is going to be about today. But somebody is still making. There are some type of decisions that somebody needs to make. King of Pentacles, Taurus versus Capricorn. That is going to actually be a major, major judgment call. Um, judgment, Scorpionic energy, Pisces possibly. But uh, I see that there is a situation where there is somebody that is really not trying to make a decision. I don't know. I don't feel the energy of confusion. I feel the energy of somebody just not doing it, especially with the Seven of Wands. I feel like somebody is just deciding that they're not going to do it. That they're not going to either apologize for a situation or offer somebody something. But we will clarify to see what's going on. All right, Spirit, could you clarify this page of Pentacles for me, please? Eight of Cups. Okay. Okay. You got the Eight of Cups, you got the Four of Pentacles, and you got the Seven of Swords. This person is really, they're, they're deciding to just walk away from this situation. Um, from actually moving forward, this person is holding back. And that's due to the fact that there might be some secrets going on with the Seven of Swords energy that you may not know about. There may be some type of deception going on. This person is holding back. It could be self-sabotage, but I don't feel like that. I feel like somebody is... Um, yeah, that's what they need to apologize to you about. But this person is holding back. They're being deceptive. What is the Seven of Wands about? Ace of Wands. Yep, what I say. Eight of Wands. And the Six of Swords. So, with this Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Six of Swords, let me, let me show you. This is a situation where this is a very passionate connection that someone has with someone. This can be something very new in their life, something that can bring a lot of excitement, a lot of joy and happiness. With this Eight of Wands energy, I feel like somebody uh, is refusing. to. They're showing some type of resistance. Somebody's being very stubborn. <clears throat> um, I feel the energy of somebody trying to protect this. That's what that Seven of Swords is about, though. Uh, with this Ace of Wands energy, someone knows they need to take action. There's a brand new opportunity. And somebody actually wants to communicate to someone to actually get something to a better place. This is the energy of someone that knows that they need to communicate to somebody to actually bring some peace. If you hear me knocking, let me in. This is the energy of somebody. And whoever this page is, this is somebody that walked away from a situation. Five of Pentacles. That's what's going on. This person is just not doing it right now. Oh, wow. You got the chariot. And you got the... Okay. So, this is what's going on. This could be... I'm really feeling like it's you. 
I'm really feeling like this is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that needs to make a situation right, but they're too stubborn to do it. Um, I'm going to let you know right now. This is a situation where you left somebody alone and you went forward in a new direction because you felt like you were overwhelmed by this situation. It was a real burden to you. I'm seeing that you took time to reflect on things. I feel like that's what's going on. Like you're taking time to really reflect on things before you jump out for this new beginning. Um, you have the cherry and the fool card, so you could be connected with a council or Aquarius. But there's a situation where you decided to leave a, a situation alone. I feel like that's because you headed towards a different direction. I feel like right now the, that that situation that you were dealing with was kind of like a burden to you, because now you're going from the five to the seven. So right now you're at a stalemate, but I don't necessarily feel like it's a stalemate. I feel like it's you taking the time out to really reflect on things and to really get yourself together and make some progress in your life before you decide to take a leap of faith in a new direction. That's what that two of swords is about. And didn't I tell you that somebody is just not making a decision about something right now? Let's see what's going on with this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The page, there we go. There go that page again. Told you. I told you this is for you. The page, okay. Okay. So this is a situation where there is something that must be done. I feel like you know in your heart that you I basically with the page of pentacles, the five of swords, and the queen of wands. You are earth sign, you know you deserve you know you owe somebody an apology. You know you owe this person an apology. Because there was a lot of uh sorry guys, my nose itching. There was a lot, a lot of conflict going on. I feel like you tried to, um, I feel like it was you, to be honest with you. I feel like you caused a lot of mental anguish to this queen of wands, this person. This person that you're very passionate about. This You're coming out, this person is coming out as a queen of wands. So, uh, that's what's going on. That you owe someone an apology due to all the mental anguish that you put on this person. I'm going to let you know right now. You know you owe this person an apology. You know you did a lot of shit that you weren't supposed to do. And you know you owe this person an apology. You know you owe this person that page. You are being stubborn though. You're deciding to walk away and hold back. And that's your way of trying to control the situation. That's what that five of swords is about too. FYI. That's your way of trying to... The Seven of Wands is about somebody refusing to do something. So you are trying to... Once again, trying to control the situation instead of doing what it is that you're supposed to do. I don't understand what it is. This is a major judgment call for you. You know this is going on, but I feel like this is due to the fact that you are going through a major transformation right now. You know what you need to do, but you're holding back from actually starting it. What is this? Judgment. Okay, you got the moon, the world... And the Ace of Pentacles. This is what's going on. There are some things. There are some things. That with this moon card and this world and the Ace of Pentacles. You really believe. That this is over for you. You really believe. This is what's going on with you. That's why you got the major judgment card. Because you really believe in your, in your mind. This is what you really believe on a subconscious level. That you closed out this cycle of this new opportunity. This You are the Ace of Pentacles, by the way. Like I said, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You really believe that this is over. You really believe that this is over. Or it could be the person that you're connected with, especially with this Pisces energy. Remember I said judgment could be Pisces or Scorpionic energy. But that is a situation where it could be you or the person that you're connected with. But on a subconscious level, on an um, intuitive level, you feel like this cycle is over. And it's crazy because you had an opportunity to make this right. But due to you stalemate and due to you sitting back like, hmm, you're going to wait before you decide to do some things. You into it. This is what you did. You understand towards Virgo and Capricorn. Because you took your time to make up a decision about something that you know you needed to do to rectify. And you're mad. You're like, well, shit is over. I don't need to do it anyway. So that's what's going on. Um... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you need to check yourself at the gate. There is a lot of ego 
going on with you, you need to really check yourself. Your ego is out of this world. Um, this can be for a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So take it as it resonates. If it don't apply to you, it don't apply. But I'm letting you know right now that there is somebody out there that got Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their charts. And they know they need to make a situation right. But instead of this person making this situation right, they're being a stubborn jackass. They're like, well, fuck it. It's over. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just leave it alone. That's what's still made. They know they need to make this situation right with that shit. And they mad. they like, it's over anyway. So what's the point of me even going and apologizing? This person is stubborn as fuck. You understand? I don't know what's going on with you, but you need to check your ego at the door. Definitely. All right, what's going on with this person you're connected with? Yeah, this person, you got the six of wands, you got the eight of wands. Yeah, this person moved forward. This person moved forward. This is what's going on. This person moved forward. They came to you. This person was serious about what it was. They wanted some victory and success in this situation. This person actually moved forward and, and they communicated to you that they, this is over for them. This is what's going on with you. This person is moving forward. With the eight of wands, the six to the eight, this is movement. This is a decision that somebody decided to make that they feel like that it would have been better going in a different direction. Like this person broke up with you, but you are the reason that they broke up. This person is moving past this situation. This is a person that actually came forward towards you and communicated to you that they was down with this situation. You hurt this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You hurt this person. All right, what's going on? What else is going on? You got the two of wands, the page. Yeah. Yeah. You know what this person did? They had they needed to make a decision. So what they did was they started observing you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They took the time to sit back. This is what they did. They was trying to figure out what direction they should take. So what they did was they sit, decided to watch. And what they observed was that there was a lot of toxicity within this communication with you. Um, you could have been dealing with... Um, uh, there you go, Capricorn. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. This person really, they just, they was making a choice, and they was like, okay, I'm going to see where everything go. But then they realized that this was a very toxic connection with you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because this is definitely coming out. So this is, it, it like like I said, there was some type of toxicity with this love that they had. This is what's going on. Also, with King of Cups, you could have been connected with a, a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This could be a cross Rachel read. This doesn't have to be for earth signs. This could be the person connected to the earth sign. Or whatever is going on. Or you could have been the earth sign connected with another earth sign. You could have been connected with a Scorpio too. And with them noticing what the fuck was going on with you. They decided to end this. They decided to bring this this situation to an end. After, sitting into, after overthinking. This person was thinking so much that they started overthinking. And that's the problem. It was a lot of overthinking. Um, You didn't let this person know exactly what you wanted. It was a lot of... What this overthinking is going back and forth with yourself. Well, I'm going to do this, but you know what? If I do this, I'm going to do that. You want to know why? Because there was a lot of toxicity. You want to know why? Because you played games. Um, You played games with this person. And they decided to end this situation because they, they kept overthinking. Was this the best opportunity for me? Come on now. This person started... This person really started weighing their options out. They really started weighing their options out about a situation and really got to thinking about things and decided to tell you how they felt. That's what happened. That's how this came to be. And man, you mad at this person because you knew you did them wrong. And you love them, and you know you have the opportunity to at least apologize. But you're so worrying about, well, they left me alone. What the fuck I need to apologize for? Because you were wrong, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Yeah. 
this person started establishing having boundaries in their life. They started taking control of their life due to all that mental conflict, due to all that manipulation, due to all that bullshit they went through you in this relationship that they had. This is what happened. This person decided to take back control of their life and establish healthy boundaries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is what happened with the person that you were connected with. This person made a logical decision. They made a head over heart decision, but they did what was best, and they decided that they needed to go ahead and heal. This is the decision that this person made, that they were going to heal. They were going to heal from this bullshit you put them through. And they're feeling very inspired. They took action with their life, and they are deciding to wait for a fresh new opportunity, a fresh new beginning, a, a brand new cycle in their life, and then that's what they're going after. This is what's going on. This person it received a lot. They say, I'm going to wait for this. Yup. Yeah. Ace of Wands and Lovers because they know they got a brand new connection coming forward towards them. And they have an option. That's what's going on. And you could have been that option towards Virgo Capricorn, but you know what you decided to do? Let that pride and that ego get in the way of something that could have really worked. There go that judgment call again. Yeah. This is a major, major judgment call for them on a brand new partnership. With the Three of Wands, that's brand new. I mean, Three of Pentacles, sorry. That's a brand new partnership. This is a major decision for them that they want a brand new partnership. Um, Yeah, you need to check your ego at the door. Your ego has hurt you in so many ways that you don't understand. I wish and I pray the best for you. But you need to do some healing towards Virgo Capricorn because your ego... It's the reason that this person is now moving forward in another direction. When you know this was the person that could have gave you what you wanted and needed. You did wrong. You were toxic. You didn't see the error of your ways. You knew you were wrong. But you didn't care because that was what you were used to being. You didn't want to have to change and do right. It don't work like that. So now you're about to miss out on an opportunity. And guess what this person got? Brand new opportunities to love, and they're going to have options, and you're not one of them. Blame yourself. Check your ego at the door. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in, and I'll see you later.